This is the inside of a BM800 microphone and in order to improve its noise floor what you need to do is this. Uh, you cut this trace uh, and put a 1k resistor in there. Uh, you put a 100 microfarad 16 volt or above capacitor between there and there. Anywhere along these tracks will do. And you replace this 9 volt Zener with an 11 volt Zener, and this will drop your noise floor uh, quite considerably. If you want to find out why, stick around because we're going to be explaining that. Here is a schematic of the microphone. I don't know the source, uh, I found it on 4chan of all places, uh, with my modifications drawn in. Uh, so, uh, what is the point of all these changes? Well, uh, this is a pass transistor uh, and this is a Zener diode making up a 9 volt voltage regulator which is feeding the FET which is amplifying uh, the microphone driver itself. Uh, and the original iteration of this uh, just has the power supply going straight from the tra transistor uh, through a resistor, a tiny little 1 microfarad cap and driving the FET which is amplifying the microphone. And this is just uh, a very simple, rather dirty power supply. So what the original modification which I found on the internet does is uh, put a cut this trace, put a 470 ohm resistor in there and a 220 microfarad capacitor across the output of the regulator and this does an excellent job at uh, cleaning up the power supply. However I didn't have a 470 ohm resistor so I used a 1k instead and uh, that works just fine except you get a bit 1 volt of drop across this resistor since the uh, microphone circuit draws about 1 milliamp and uh, this causes the already rather poorly regulated 9 volt supply to turn into a 7-ish volt supply which decreases the sensitivity of the microphone. So I figured, alright, that's not an issue, we'll just replace the original 9 volt Zena diode with an 11 volt one. Uh, this gives us a slightly higher voltage here and uh, in my case about 8.7 volts here feeding the microphone driver, which is perfect. I did a fair amount of experimentation with uh, different capacitor values around here to figure out what the uh, minimum value you can use is and uh, the original diagram I found had a 63 volt cap here which is uh, just entirely overkill since it's across a 9 volt supply. A 16 volt electro electrolytic works just fine. Uh, as far as capacitance goes I tried down to 2.2 microfarads and that actually worked rather well. Uh, but uh, increasing the capacitance just lowered the noise floor. Uh, ever so slightly up to 100 microfarads. I tried all the way up to 470 and uh, just saw no improvement whatsoever on my meter. So I'd say yeah, 100 microfarads and up is uh, what you need. Above 100 microfarads just uh, is a bit excessive. But eh, more capacitance doesn't hurt since it's just a power supply. Performing this modification also uh, does uh, affect the way the microphone can accept different input voltages. My microphone works just fine uh, down to very low phantom power voltages of uh, 4 or 5 volts even, uh, but it uh, basically requires above 12 volts to work optimally. However, uh, since we're losing another volt here uh, in the resistor, we really need uh, uh, about 15 volts of uh, phantom power or above in order to actually get 9 volts here. So that's a bit of a compromise you are making. You can't just run this off of a 12 volt power supply anymore. Well you can but uh, we'll get to that. So let's do a bit of a comparative test. Uh, as you can see I've now removed the resistor, i removed the capacitor and I've reinstalled the original 9 volt Cena diode. Uh, so let's uh, put the thing back together, shove it between a couple of pillows and measure the idle noise of this microphone. And we are now connected up to uh, my distortion meter which uh, has a very handy uh, 1 millivolt full scale range and as you can see as I'm speaking we've got the microphone connected up to it and we were measuring about 30 microvolts of idle noise with a microphone shoved between two pillows. Now something I noticed with my microphone at least uh, is that as I turned the supply voltage up uh, the noise floor would increase. Uh, this is taking at a 12.7 volt supply so let's uh, turn it up to about 33 volts which is the maximum in my little uh, input box can handle.
and this is the noise floor at 33 volts and as you can see we're now at 50 microvolts rather than 30 and that is a quite considerable increase uh, this is uh, obviously due to the fact that the voltage regulator has to dissipate more power, has more electrons bouncing around in it and is therefore generating a bit more noise. Uh, so this, improve, this modification obviously has more to gain if you're running the microphone at a high supply voltage. But uh, with that uh, checked, let's reinstall the uh, capacitor resistor and Zener diode and see what we get. Alright, the components have been reinstalled, so let's power the microphone on at 12.7 uh, volts and see if we get any improvement. And right away you can see... But the noise floors dropped to uh, 15 to 20 microvolts uh, rather than the 30 we saw before. But uh, what I think is most impressive is what happens when we turn the supply voltage up. So let's go back to 33 volts. And as you can now see, the noise voltage uh, pretty much remains the same at about 20 microvolts despite uh, our um, rough doubling of the supply voltage, which was certainly not what we saw before. So I think that's quite definitely telling us that there's uh, some credence to this modification. So with that established, uh, let's uh, have a bit of a look at how the input voltage of a microphone uh, affects its uh, sensitivity. Uh, because that's uh, a quite important thing in this microphone uh, since, uh, well to me anyway, since I've been running it at a 12 volt power supply up until now. Uh, so let's rig something up real quick. And here's our sensitivity testing jig. Uh, there will be no absolute measurements, uh, but uh, we have two speakers set up to play white noise straight into the microphone. The reason we've got two speakers is to confirm that all the noise picked up by the microphone is in fact coming from the speakers, since we will see a 3 decibel decrease if I turn down either of them. So with that out of the way, let's uh, have a bit of a look. Alright, so we're now looking at the uh, 3.39A distortion meter at the 10 millivolts full scale setting. So let's turn on the white noise and s confirm that we are indeed listening to the speakers and the speakers only. So we're reading minus 4 decibels with both speakers playing, so let's just use a balance knob to uh, turn one of them off. Now oh, that's 3 decibels down. And the other one is 3 decibels down, so we can be quite confident uh, that we're listening to only our test signal. And uh, since we're using the microphone at 33 volts, which is our highest uh, permitted supply voltage, uh, this is going to be our reference for sensitivity. Uh, minus 4 decibels on the scale uh, for this sound level. So let's uh, turn the the supply voltage for the microphone down a bit, let's go to 24 volts. And that is 24 volts and uh, as you can see we're down 0.2 decibels, so for all intents and purposes the microphone is uh, as sensitive as it is at the higher supply voltage at 24 volts. So let's go down to uh, 15 volts. And we are now down another 0.2 decibels, so 0.4 decibels down at 15 volts. And uh, this is roughly where I would expect to uh, start seeing some bigger changes. So let's go down to 12 volts. And at 12 volts we're pretty much down another 0.4 decibels, so we're almost uh, 1 decibel less sensitive uh, at uh, 12 volts. Uh, so let's go down to 11. And that's taking another point two, ten. And that's taking another point two, nine. And that's taking another point four. So we're almost down one point four decibels at nine volts, and eight volts. Yeah, that's a solid uh, two decibel drop from uh, the thirty-three volt reference. Seven volts. Another 0.4 decibels gone. 
I should point out that the microphone is absolutely still usable at this very low supply voltage. Uh, if we use the balance knob to uh, disable one speaker or the other, you will see that uh, it's uh, absolutely linear as you'd expect it to be. We're going to be at uh, uh, minus 9 decibels. That's absolutely perfect. So let's bring it down to 5 volts, see what it does. So at 5 volts uh, we are down a solid 4 decibels, so we're really starting to get into a rather unsensitive territory where the microphone is hardly performing as well as it should. But as you can see, it still is performing. It is picking up the audio relatively well, and uh, if I knock the balance, it's damn nailed in here still. So this microphone will actually operate down to 5 volts and below, so let's do 4 volts. And that's killed another 2 decibels, so let's uh, bring our scales up. So now we're at 0 dB, turning it down, we lose 3 dB, 3 dB so it's working just fine still. But uh, this stage is really starting to become rather unsensitive. 3 volts. And now we've pretty much killed it, I think. Let's uh, check the balance. Yeah, it is still working, but yeah, we're down like well over 10 decibels from the 33 volt, 33 volt reference. So, at 3 volts for microphones, pretty much dead. But if I shout, you can still see the signal on it. That's not too bad. So with all the technical stuff out of the way, let's end with a bit of a practical demonstration. So the microphone is now hooked up to the camera, as you can very well hear, and our supply voltage is set to 33 volts. So let's uh, turn down the voltage a bit, it's going to make a horrible sound as I do it, but let's go for 20 volts. And uh, this should pretty much sound the same, since we saw that the sensitivity of the microphone doesn't change much at all. I should point out that the camera is also set for a constant microphone level, so there's no AGC going on. I'll have to remember to turn the compressor, compressor off in the post prod as well. Uh, but uh, let's jump down straight to 12 volts. So that's 12 volts, and... Uh, Oh wow, well, we've been clipping all the time. Geez. Oh well, uh, this is a, either way, this is 12 volts. It uh, should sound just like before. So let's go down to 5 volts. So that would be 5 volts. Uh, we should be seeing a rather significant decrease in the volume by now. Uh, let's do 4 volts. 4 volts testing, testing 1, 2, this should be a bit quieter still, and as we go down to 3 volts it should uh, damn well make a difference. So this is a 3 volts supplied to a microphone, which uh, might be quite similar to what you uh, could expect to get out of like a computer or something, and uh, I would be surprised if I'm very audible at all by now, but you can probably make it out. So, with that... Let's just settle at a comfy 20 volts or so, which is going to be roughly my new battery voltage for this thing. And I'll have to thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful in your own endeavours to improve this like a 20 or $30 Ching Chong mic. Cheerio!